Howdy folks, it's me, Comrade Internet, and we're back with, uh, the Adventures of Turbo Slug. Uh, well, Raider Warband is still selling. Uh, it's performing alright. Uh, uh, the current strategy games are still fairly popular. Uh, while we are going to develop a new game engine soon, let's see if we can... Let, let's see if we can just squeeze another uh, game in before the end of the year. As it is uh, first week of... Oh shit, it's the first week of uh, October. Year nine of this company's existence. Well, I think I've figured this one out. Manatee Fest Destiny. A game about world conquest with manatees. You see, the very concept of that is our for uh, the initial concept is the game's original bug, and that's fine. We will make this story rich for the hell of it. And eh, the engine's gonna suffer, though. does have a linear story. At first, the world isn't run by manatees, and then it is. Oh my god, it has hype. Independent of any kind of interview. But motherfucker! Thank you. 
Okay, it at least sold more than 10,000 units. That's good. It's a better number, but you can still fuck off and die in a hole. Obviously, with all the stuff that we've got researched so far, that's leaning way more towards RPGs. And in the case, and in the case of the level editor uh, construction games, but, uh, yeah, there's still room for the player in there. And let's just tack uh, crude pre graphics on there to. I kidding? We're gonna need the uh, branching paths thing uh, for storytelling if we want to make an engine that's optimized for RPGs. So, to build up the requisite research points for that, uh, let's make a sequel to Rochambeau. Or, well, Technically a sequel, but it's basically just being ported to the end. Sit for the Super NES. Best Destiny would have done better, but that's not a bad
So we fucking launched at P3. That's nice. I'm... I'm very happy with that coincidence. Oh well. Calling it the Dream Builder. Yes. <clears throat> yeah, that. That one. All right, let's go. good. Yeah. 